Mic. Good morning, everyone. This morning is our last day, right? But then I want you to remember everything that we have learned. On our first day, when I ask you, are you happy today? What's your answer? Wow, you still remember. And then, when I say hallelujah, you say? And when I say praise the Lord, you say? And yesterday, I asked you, how are you today? You say? Wow, thank you for remembering once again. When I say, how are you today? You say, saved by grace. Once again. For grade one students, how are you today? Amen. Grade two students, how are you today? For grade three students, how are you today? Grade four students, how are you today? Grade five students, how are you today? Praise God. And our grade six students, how are you today? Thank you so much. Now, my dear children, I want you to remember that you are saved by grace. And before we're doing the question on the end part, but this time, I want to ask any one of you who remember our four topics. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Is there any brave there? Just come in front. Anyone who first come in front. Okay, let's try that one, that boy. What is the first topic, second, third, and fourth topic? Do you remember? Anyone who remember? Okay, come in front. That girl, come in front. I want to ask you what's the topic. It's God's grace. Okay, two of you. It's okay. Another one. Or just she. Come, come. Okay. Let's try it. What's the first topic? Monday. Guide us. us. God's grace. Guide us. And the second one. God's grace. Letter R. Redeems. Very good. Redeems us. Let's come to the third one. God's grace. Letter A. Aligns us. Aligns us. Very nice. And yesterday, God's grace. Let us see. Um, changes us. Wow, you remember it. God's grace. The first one, God's grace. What? What? Guides us. us. The second one, God's grace. Redeems us. And the third one, God's grace. Yesterday, God's grace changes us. Thank you so much. I have this Alcansha yeah, in Tagalog. Thank you so much, dear. Now, we will go now to our story. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah. This time, our story will be coming from the Bible. And it's a true story. It happened long ago. And it's about Zacchaeus. Do you know Zacchaeus? Anyone here? Wow. So this time, we will make, uh, we will remember again the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was what? A little man, right? Just like them, no. <laughs> They're a little man, right? Or little ladies. But Zacchaeus is a guy. So Zacchaeus is a little man. You know, so short. And so, one day, Zacchaeus is on the job. He has work. What is his work? Anyone know? Tax collector. What is the tax collector doing? Come on. He's doing like this one. He has a coin box. The tax collector has a coin box. And then, since he is living in Jericho, whenever someone is entering the place, he will ask for what? Ask for what? 
money, he will ask for coins. But then, if the government just asks for one peso, what will he do? He will ask for another one. So how much is that one? Two peso, right? So let's try it. Since you're going to enter Jericho, supposed to be you will give only one peso. Look at this one. But then, I ask for more. You put it. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. You give one more. So this time, the other one would be for me or for Zacchaeus. It would not be for the government, for the king anymore. It will be for Zacchaeus. So what do you think he's doing? Cheater, right? Zacchaeus is cheating the people. So once again, he will go farther. He will go farther and try collecting money from the grade six. Since you want to enter this one, I need you to give, uh, although it's only one, it should be one peso. I need to give two peso. Any one of you? You try this one. You hold it. Okay. Supposed to be you will drop one. One only. Oh. That's not enough. You must give another one. By this time, I'll keep it in my pocket. Ooh, Zacchaeus keep it in his pocket. So Zacchaeus is what? Cheating the people. Oh my. But then... One day, while Zacchaeus is doing like that, he heard Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming in Jericho. He's coming from there. But then, do you remember? Zacchaeus is what? A little man. And the crowd or the people is crowding Jesus Christ. He can't see Jesus Christ. Because he's a little man. So what he did, what he did? He climbed up a tree. Come on. He climbed up a tree. <gasps> wow. I see who? I see Jesus very clearly. Because I'm on the sycamore tree. Wow. And so Jesus is coming near. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. With a lot of people around him. And when Jesus saw Zacchaeus up there, well, Zacchaeus is hiding, you know. He's hiding in the bushes, on the leaves. But then, Jesus saw Zacchaeus. He's there. Jesus said to him, Hi. Zacchaeus said, uh, hello? And again, Jesus greeted him. Hi, Zacchaeus. <gasps> he knows my name. Jesus knows my name. Maybe he also know that I'm cheating, right? Do you think Jesus know? Yeah. Oh, I get afraid. Zacchaeus became afraid. But then Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down, come down. I want to eat with you in your house. Wow. When Zacchaeus heard that, really? I must get down. Okay, so he get down, he get down. Come on, Jesus, eat with me in our house. So Jesus went where? In the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus is a sinner, right? Zacchaeus is a cheater. But then Jesus came into his house. This time, Zacchaeus and Jesus Christ is talking with each other. You know, telling stories with each other. And Jesus Christ is listening to him. Are you listening? Are you listening? Yeah. So Jesus Christ is listening to him. And then Jesus Christ tell something and tell a lot of stories to Zacchaeus. And after a while, Zacchaeus said, 
You know what, Jesus? I have cheated a lot of people. I have get a lot of money from them. But then, since I met you, I knew I must change. I knew I must give back four times of what I have get from them. For example, how much did I get from you? One peso, right? The chaos will bring it back four times. So this time, the chaos was changed. Because of whom? Jesus Christ. Because he met Jesus Christ in his life. Now, my dear children, Jesus Christ loves you so much. And he wants to come in into your house. Time will come. Revelation 14, 7 says, Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come. There would be judgment day. Do you think the chaos will be in heaven? Yes, because he became a changed man. And so I want to invite my friend to sing for us as we see a movie clip of Jesus Christ saving us by grace. I want you to meditate upon how God, how Jesus Christ loves you so much and want to enter your life today. The Savior sent a mercy, heals the wounds of all my sin. I praise the love that makes me whole again. I come in hope, I come in faith to feel the touch of his redeeming grace as i offer him my broken heart he heals the hurt within and i praise the love that makes me whole again hallelujah my healing spirit cries as he reaches out his hand to bid me rise hallelujah praise the healer of all men who makes me more than what i was and sees beyond what i am me up, restores my soul, removes my bitter cup, for he heals my every heartache, and he carries all my pain, and I praise the love that makes me whole again, hallelujah. My healing spirit cries as he reaches out his hand to bid me rise. Hallelujah, praise the healer of all men who 
makes me more than what I was and sees beyond what I am. And when I fall, He lifts me up, restores my soul, removes my bitter cup. For He heals my every heartache, and He carries all my pain. And I praise the love that makes me whole again. Little children, this is what happened to Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for you and for me. For us to be saved. It is by His grace that we are here, that you are alive, that you have eyes, that you have mouth, that you have hands. It is because of Him that we are saved. And now, my friends, my little children, I want to ask you if you want to accept Jesus Christ. This is a specific appeal as your personal savior to baptism. Please come in front. Is there's any one of you who wants Jesus Christ to enter your life starting from now to baptism? Please come in front. I believe only grade three, grade four, and grade five students could realize in grade six about baptism. But it's about proclaiming to the people throughout the world that you love Jesus Christ and that you will follow Jesus Christ. So if there's any one of you who want to come for baptism, please come in front. Please come in front. If you want to be baptized. I'm not calling for the little children like grade 3 below. But I'm calling for the rest who wants to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Only for baptism, my little children. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Only for baptism. If you want to have an outward proclamation that you love Jesus Christ in your life. I'm not calling for the lower years, but for the higher years. Who knew what baptism is? It's okay. Thank you so much. Only for the higher years, who knows what baptism is? Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, listen to me. I want now to call to every one of you who wants to commit your life to Jesus Christ and let Jesus Christ enter your life, please stand up. Only stand up to those who want Jesus Christ to enter their life. Just stand up. Just stand up. God is looking at you right now. And I want to invite my friends to give those who are here in front a special diploma and to our teacher ma'am could you see something on the visual I want to see a visual praise the Lord for your decision little children God is looking at you right now and He is inviting you to something better than this world. It's the new earth.
God is inviting you to something better. It is there. Look what awaits you, little children. There you will see Jesus. He will talk to you personally and face to face. You will live in a mansion. It's the beauty of heaven. And you will sit beside Jesus Christ. Among you right now wants to be in that heaven someday. Can I see your hands? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for every one of you. Let us bow our heads for a prayer. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, I praise your name for the decision of these little children of yours. They want to see you, Jesus Christ. They want to see you someday in that heaven. We don't want to stay in this earth anymore, but be with you in heaven someday. So I pray, Father, that you help us to have a changed heart. Just like Zacchaeus, you have changed him. We know that you could change us right now. So I pray, Father, that you enter into the heart's door of which little children we have here. So, Father God, be with us right now. And help us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You could sit down quietly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.